hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to export your database table as a CSV file or a Excel file in this video I will show you how to import a CSV file or Excel file to a database so right now I have this SQLite manager open which I have shown you in the second video how to download and install and uh, for example I create a new database so I create a new database and I will give the database name as for example EMP DB dot DB okay and I click OK and I will save it as a location here and I will still say OK. So right now I have created this database, right? And now I want to uh, import a data which is there in my Excel file. So for example, I have uh, this data which is there in the Excel file and I have here employee ID, name, surname, age, username, password and pay and I have some data for these columns and I want to import this table or this uh, table data as a database table here. So what I will do is I will go to uh, this tab database and I will go to import here and it will open an import wizard from here and because this is a excel file and not a comma separated file so let's see how we can import this excel file to uh, our database so just select this tab csv csv and just select the first row contains the name of the column so you can see here first row contains the name of the columns that's why i will select here and I will give the name of uh, the table here. So I will give employee info table. This is a type name of your table, right? And just select this. And because this is an Excel file, so I will select this tab because they are separated by tab. And this I will leave as default, double quote if necessary. Okay and I will click OK and it's showing some error okay so it's showing error because I haven't selected my Excel file this Excel file I need to give the path also so at the top here you need to give the path of your Excel file also so just go at the right and select the file from here and from here you can give the path of your excel file so just click show all and see the extension which file is a excel file so i will see it from here this file is my excel file so i will select this excel file and i will open this and now i will click ok and now it's showing me the message that a new table called employee info will be created do you want to modify this table click ok and you can see here all the table columns comes come here and you can define the da data type of these columns so for example first column is an integer second name is a where care the name is a where care age is integer username is varchar this is also varchar and pay is float and you can also define which is your primary key so for example we take employee id as a primary key just select it and click ok and it will show this dialog just click ok and now you can see here you have a new table called employee info and which is having some data 
okay so let's see and you can uh, go to this execute sql query tab and you can just verify that if all the data is there or not so just write the query select star from your data table name so table name is employee info so i will write select star from employee info and i will run the sql query here and you will be able to see all the data is there in your table so in this way you can import a data from a excel file you can do the same for the csv file also just select this comma separated file and it's the same procedure for the csv file so i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now